Storming, norming, and performing. How does it impact us and why is it important? So storming, norming, and performing can, it affects us because it happens not only in our personal relationships, our lifestyle habits, but also our professional employee team management and or work-life integration balance. So storming is when things are hot. It's confusing. You're either upscaling, you're downscaling, maybe you're dating, maybe you're going through a divorce or a breakup. Maybe you're trying to train for something or create different, more intentional habits when it comes to your diet and intake. Storming, pretty self-explanatory. It's confusing, it's hectic. However, when we look at the norming, the norming is the most dangerous phase because people like mediocrity. People like certainty and consistency. However, no one likes complacency. Whether it's in your sexless relationship, your promotionless career, or your lack of seeing a difference in the way you feel, perform, and or um, look physically. So what we want to make sure that you're doing is moving and doing what you can to get to that performing state. Performing stay in the relationships of understanding and knowing that I'm either withdrawing or contributing to my relationship at any given moment and every action I take. So what does performing look like? Is it scheduling a date night once a week? Is it really intentionally creating intimacy twice a week? Is it expressing and writing letters to people who are disrespectful, dishonest, and have you struggle to be authentic? to be cleared out and tell them how you feel. In the corporate realm, performing, what does it look like? Is it better time management? Is it better boundaries? Is it more empathetic and authentic conversations with your teammates to let them know where you're really at? And then when we look at the health and well-being of yourself, what is performing? Is it going to bed on time? Is it getting half your body weight in ounces of water a day? Is it exercising four days a week for 30 minutes? Is it doing one mile walk for four days out of the week? Really start to get clear on what does performing look like to you? Because without understanding what performing is and means, you can't track it. There's no accountability. And it will keep you in that space of complacency and norming and that's not healthy for anyone another thing to take into account whether it is your relationships your career or your health and well-being is look for the genius in everyone not just yourself but those around you the beautiful thing about each one of us is that we are completely different how we look, how we feel, how we process, how we articulate, how we achieve. And when we are thinking that people need to be exactly like us or that because someone is assigned to do this, that that's only what they want to do or are able to do, it puts that block to be, again, that mediocrity norm and it, it caps the scale of what performing can actually be. So storming, norming, performing, move from storming into performing, get clear on what that means. And in that process, look for everyone's genius. Ciao.